my name is Jag Nagra. I'm a visual artist and I'm also the vice chair of the Punjabi Market Collective. Um, I initially got involved through my art. Um, uh, Gulzar Nanda, who's our chair, he ended up finding some of my art online and we connected and he shared like ideas about revitalizing and beautifying Punjabi Market. And immediately, like I was sold on the idea. So we're inside High Class Jewelers or HC Jewelers, um, and they are kind of one of the staples of the market. They've been here for decades. Um, Gulzar, who I mentioned earlier, the chair of our collective, he's actually a fifth generation jeweler. So his um, parents and grandfather opened up the shop, and now he's continuing that legacy. So, um, you know, I think shops like this are really important in helping create that culture and creating that intangible culture you know in the 80s and 90s this was um, such a huge important hub for Punjabi folks right um, this is where everybody came to do their bridal shopping their um, shopping for spices for textiles I have memories coming here with my parents and my grandparents um, and now my kids have the same memories coming with me and um, hopefully we can continue that momentum and just, you know, keep it alive. Uh, in, Br in Brampton, kind of in every corner, there's Indian background, um, whether it's like a restaurant, a suit shop like this, um, like jewelry stores, a lot of stuff like this, similar to, to Brampton. Um, I remember coming, coming down here with my mom and my aunt, grandparent, grandma. They would always come shop in stores like this, kind of see what type of clothing they have and stuff. So. Yeah, so the very first Indian shop that opened up was uh, on May 31st, 1970, and it was a textile shop, um, Shan Saris. And I think just having one person do that, it, it attracts other, you know, like-minded, uh, business-focused people to open up in this area. And, you know, they fought over the years to have this um, strip be designated Punjabi market. Um, they fought to have the bilingual street signs that went up in 1993. Um, so, in many ways, they were, you know, pioneers for giving our people a voice. Uh, my name is Jesse Sopal. I'm the creative director of the Punjabi Market Collective. Um, we're sitting at Himalayas, iconic to Punjabi Market. It's been here for decades, and uh, hopefully, we can grab a few bites after this. When me and my parents would go shopping here when I was a kid, we'd all stop by Himalayas and have like a snack or like some chai, you know. So. It still has that, that memory tied to it, and not a lot has changed. And I think that's a good thing in many ways. The Punjabi Market Collective has been working towards kind of revitalizing this market through a creative and cultural lens, doing projects like murals. Um, we've been doing other things as well with um, installations, and we're working on like banners and stuff, and having an event, a live event happening in August. So for me, it's always a matter of how do you go deep into the culture, into stories, metaphors, whatever, pick one element and kind of showcase it and present it to the community in whatever visual or project that I have. I think what art does is it creates a bridge for people, right? Um, I think it's a great way to um, bring community together. Uh, and for, you know, young kids, even elders watching at home, they'll see someone like Sean and be like, hey, there's one of, you know, one of us out there uh, doing big things. And I think that, um, just encourages so many people. It probably introduces, you know, young athletes to this whole new world. And I feel like we all feel proud when we see um, another Punjabi person doing really big things um, nationally or internationally. Uh, I know we have a bunch of communities on our team that can get support from everyone in Vancouver. And I hope a lot of Indian Indian communities come out to watch me play because it kind of shows them that their kid or their brother or their niece or nephew or whatever it is, just they can make it to that level with someone right in front of them doing it, you know? So I think that's why it's important to kind of bring their kids out, bring bring their families out to kind of show the, the example right in front of them, right in their backyard. I think for sure, because there's not that many of us uh, doing it at a high level, and when they see it happening right in front of them, they, it kind of gives them hope and inspires them that they can be the next one. Um, when I meet them, they all they all want to, a lot of them tell me that they're going to be on the field with me soon as well. So I think that's a big reason why a lot of them come out to support because they see themselves in, in me and other people that, that are kind of doing what they dream of doing in the future. So It means a lot um, see, seeing it and then hearing it from people. Like sometimes it, it gives me that reassurance that okay, like I'm, I'm doing something and I'm doing something in the right, right uh, direction. 
and kind of gives hope to, to other people and to myself to just keep going and work harder every day to make it even higher than the level I'm already at. Um, yeah, so. There's that stereotype of, in our culture at least, become a doctor, engineer, lawyer, and things like an athlete, an artist, anything creative or something that's kind of beyond that gets pushed to the side. So when we have athletes or artists doing great things, that should be celebrated and that should be put on almost a pedestal as lawyers, doctors and engineers because that is a viable way of starting a career or having a career. And you know, the next generation should see that. So I want to see parents saying, hey, become an athlete, doctor, lawyer, artist, engineer, you know, part of that sort of um, list of occupations. With the population of how many Indian people are in Canada, in the CPL, I feel like if there's at least one Indian player on each team, I think that can be a, be big for the league, big for the, the community, and just big big for each city that has the team because I know there's a big population in almost every city in Canada, so I think it'd be good for the league if there's at least one Indian player on each team. So, Honestly, since I started working in Punjabi market in 2019, um, not only has my career just completely evolved, but I have as, as well as a person. In many ways, I feel like I've come home. And that also has to do with how much community support there is, right? Um, just having people say, like, thank you for representing our culture out there, you know, that, that just means so much. And um, it's really inspiring to be able to do work like this. I, I feel like there's, this whole street uh, kind of keeps me in touch with where I'm from. Uh, I've lived other places in North America and stuff, and I've, I've been always homesick quite quickly. Uh, moving to Vancouver, uh, knowing how, how much of my community is out here, it's kind of kept me grounded and makes me love the city for, for what it is. So 